guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Today we're replacing two rear brake hoses on this amazing 1976 Mercedes 240D W115. Uh, the brake hoses in the back are looking pretty bad. So this is just like a starting, like the start of restoration of this car because there's actually a lot of things that I have to do to this car. But you know, just uh, we can start with something simple, which is this stuff, just brake hoses. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Got the car jacked up and uh, yeah, so the brake hose, which is this guy, starting to crack right here pretty bad actually. It's pretty old in general, so I'm gonna install new ones and I'm gonna bleed it with a vacuum gauge. So yeah, these will get replaced too. I mean, there's still pad material left and all that. AT caliper, I love to see that. Nice. So the way I replace these hoses is uh, first uh, actually loosen this fitting, which is 14 millimeter, and this right here, which is 11, using line wrench, and then on side undo this guy. Then I'm gonna undo it from the caliper, and then do the reverse installation. All right, now once it's disconnected, now I'm gonna disconnect it from the caliper. I'm gonna grab a brand new hose, install it into the caliper first. All right, guys, got the hose replaced. I'm about to start bleeding it with a vacuum bleeder. And the old hose right here, pretty horrible condition. Don't know where, when it was last changed. It's the hose, started to have cracking, a bunch of it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. Some kind of hose. Would really love to find out when it was changed last. But yeah, there she is, all nice, tightened up, and then I'm just gonna have to bleed it with vacuum pump here shortly. Look at that, I'm gonna have fresh brake fluid. It's gonna take a while probably to uh, bleed this, the rear brakes, because of, uh, you know, the line is pretty long going from the front to the back of the car, so. All right, we're gonna, Fill it up a little bit. I'm using that four, it's fine. So let's get this baby filled up. Be careful, don't spill the brake fluid. This nasty fluid coming out isn't that satisfying. So it's pretty clean now. Looks yellowish, but uh, it's actually really clean fluid comparing to what it was before. So that's it. This wheel is done. All right, everything is ready here. All tightened up and back. I start putting a bunch of grease here in this area. And I'm gonna finish up at some point. Start putting a bunch of grease right here where the fender is. Super important to keep these machines preserved and protected from rust as you can see my control arms are also coated with fluid film that's what i did all right so here's the filter i'm gonna be cleaning this area as well and uh i'll be loosen this clamp i would like to find the new boots for it too i'm a little tired but yeah we're gonna take this section off carefully be cleaning all this too yeah as you can see my AC was deleted so these hoses are just kind of hanging here yeah just doing some work and maintenance to 115 and um, cleaning everything out 
got the air filter out and all that I'm just gonna be cleaning all this want to detail it yeah you see as you can see is uh, disconnected deleted on my car I don't know what I'm gonna do about that just yet but I just want to make everything kind of clean and nice all right so here's the lower housing right here this is where the oil goes it's pretty amazing design so I cleaned it up here and there. I'm gonna reinstall it, put a bunch of grease there, just in case. Prevent any rust. And uh, yeah, gonna reinstall this and then I'm gonna add clean oil to this baby. I'm gonna put clean oil to the mark. Gotta straighten it up a little, but that's how you do it. So there's the filter, I cleaned it. The best thing is actually put it in the diesel, let it soak. Just don't have it on me now, but I cleaned everything as much as I, you know, possible. And I'm gonna install this. Amazing machine, Mercedes W115 240D diesel. Uh, it's just a pleasure driving this amazing machine. Uh, there's still a lot of work that I need to do to this car, uh, but I am really, really happy to have one of these amazing machines. You know, this was actually like for sale last year. Nobody wanted to buy it for a long time and I had to buy it and save this car. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, I just follow the star. That's how I you know drive these amazing machines and yeah i'm super super proud of these cars because they will never ever make them like they used to so keep saving keep loving these amazing machines they all deserve to live no matter what condition they are i just finished rebuilding the shifter on it just waiting on a few more parts and then i'm gonna proceed to do a lot of engine maintenance and whatnot uh, the brake light is on. I have to take care of that. But yeah, slowly but surely, I'm gonna make this thing amazing. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's so it feels so good, you know, driving this car and just people looking at me, giving me thumbs up, and uh, loving my machine. Don't forget to save and love amazing Euro cars. Just any classic car in general, not just Euros, but any classic car in general deserve love and care because they will never ever be the same.